Hey, Shalom, I'm Akim, Shalom. I'm first thing and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor as due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash. Double honors unto the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Blessings be to the hopeful elect, knowing in the gospel, broad living the standard of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Mr. Akim, Mahalaya, coming back with another lesson through the Spirit. Lord's will it be edifying. Um, title of this lesson is going to be called. Um, don't worry about how the wicked will be punished, but how the righteous should be saved. Because oftentimes uh, we fret, want to know in the end game or the end of particular people that vexes our spirit. Okay, but the reality of it is you got to let the Lord deal with them. You know, you got to let the Lord deal with them and um, in his own time because it's so much at hand. That's happening in the world to the point you can't be focused on Jake's wicked ass as far as their personal dealings anyway. Okay, because um, you could destroy your mental fortitude worrying about, damn, when the Lord gonna jack this nigga up. Because we've all been in that spirit waiting on somebody to get judged because they've done this wrong or whether it been a woman or a nigga in the street. You know, but the Lord got that number. But mainly focus on how the righteous is gonna be saved because this thing is about the righteous being saved. Okay? So with that being said, man, I was just listening to the big the brother uh, Preacher R's video about how the blue pill movement is going to cause a lot of people to falter, to falter to their demise because they're focusing on the things that be as far as with the mandates and the way that the world is going. People are not focused on your how about you how shy, which is going to be their ultimate end game. So is it really our job to know who and what and who is going to get the missiles? No, because it's bigger fish to fry. But we do know they will be destroyed. Okay, because it's a lot of wicked jakes out here that's playing games with the most high, man. Like, I was at this little spot last night, man. And um, you know how when Jake just around, you kind of peep things and, you you know, you start conversation to see where people are at. And um, honestly, man, I was overhearing these women talk, man. And they was like, well, we come to this place because, you know, we were depressed. This pandemic made us depressed, X, Y, Z. So this is the only form of fashion we have to get out of our shell. In the back of my mind, I said, man, these niggas don't know what's coming to them they don't know you know because i'm like they mindset is mirth 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 but the most high is using this situation in the world to get jake's attention and get them to see but what is jake doing jake is trying to run away from that ultimate responsibility of coming back to your how about you how was shot because that's all niggas know is comfortable comfort 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 jake don't want to be uncomfortable man you know because it's a very uh trying thing to your flesh but the thing between us and the rest of the Israelites is the fact that we've learned to deal with the uh, trials and tribulations of the spirit and the flesh versus Jake. They're just solely indulged in their flesh, you know, and that's why they were making that statement. And, um, you know, just talking about what was going on in the world as far as different opinions and this and this and that. And all these niggas, man, they all got the same opinion, whether it's worded different or not, because they know that it's some folly or some some what do you call some uh, some foul play going on. They know it's foul play going on, but at the end of the day, they still trust in this damn system, man. You know, so I'm like, how can you trust in a system that you know is is, is is putting wickedness over you? How can you trust in that? And then when I ask these questions, nobody have an answer to it, okay? Their answer always be of that, well, uh, you know, we got to work, we got to eat, we got to live. No faith at all. No faith at all in your how about you, how shy. Because these people don't know you how about you, how was shot, man. Okay? These people don't know the Lord, and the Lord don't want to know them. He's blinded them. So a lot of times, man, you get into heated debates. Like I end up damn near cursing this woman out, man. Because uh she was feeling some type of way. Because um we was all having like this conversation. And I guess she liked it, the other chick. And uh we were just engaging all in like conversations and stuff like that about what's going on in the world. And when me and the other chicks started kind of relating to like certain world events, the other girl had to find a way on how to disrupt that, you know, because she was really giving me just like a real fucked up spirit. But she was trying to vibe at the same time. But my thing was, I'm like, I'm not here to vibe with you or any of you people. I'm just trying to see where y'all minds at. So therefore, you know, it, it solidifies the teacher because the scriptures say do all things into edification. So basically, I end up cursing out, man, because I'm like, for one thing, you a woman, like, you, you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, because I gave her an analogy. I said, if all hell break loose right now, what can you do? What would you do? You know what I'm saying? She couldn't answer the question. So I was like, that of 
thinking a man is equal to you, I said that shit is going out the window. Cause I'm like, if you can, if you're equal to me, then won't you deadlift 350 pounds right now, man? Won't you bitch press 250 fucking pounds right now? Because I'm like, you sound hella dumb, talking shit. Here you are in a bad predicament. You overweight, and yet you got the audacity to buck up against men. You know what I'm saying? That type of spirit, it'll piss you off. It'll make you want to put curses on Zay. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, you know what, man? This little hoe ain't even worth my time. She's beneath me, man. You know, and I kind of blew it off. But I was just meditating on this morning. I'm like, man, I hope the Lord jack her ass up. But the spirit like, man, don't even worry about that. That's, she's already going to be destroyed. So that's why I'm doing this lesson too, man. Just to reassure myself that, man, hell with these niggas, man. You don't owe them your, you don't owe them your energy. You know, your attention. You don't owe them that. You know, because they don't understand the man mindset of the men of the Lord because you have to understand they come in of that of, of Western perspective. OK, when you've been brought up in Western philosophy and you've never traveled or been anywhere outside of the country to know how other cultures indulge, you will have a destroyed mindset. And that's why it's such a miracle and a blessing in itself that the Most High has woke us up out of slumber. Because remember, we used to think just like these people not too long ago. OK, not too long ago. Because 10, 10 years in the truth, that's not no time at all. I'm in my 30s, man. And 10 years, I've been in the world longer than I've been in the truth. So, yes, you're still going to have worldly tendencies in you. That's just what it is. That's why you have to purge out that old leaven. And it's an ongoing process. It don't just happen overnight. Shit, the world got 20 plus years on me, man. You know what I'm saying? Even in the world, you know, we thought different. But yet, we had a lot of like-minded with the same with, with people we deal with. Because that's the case we wouldn't be able to relate to certain people that deal in the world like drug dealers, game bangers, businessmen, you know, we wouldn't be able to really relate to those men if we didn't think like them in some form of fashion. So that's why I'm getting that with that. But overall, man, you know, we just worried about how the righteous is going to be saved because in a minute, brothers, the most high is going to turn things into our favor. OK, and he's doing that. Like I've noticed when I go to certain places, people are engaging more like it was this eat my he, he was a Jake. I was going to the store, man, yesterday, and uh, I was picking up some stuff, and then I was just walking to the uh, to the store. Dude said, hey, bro, come here. And I kind of looked at him. I'm like, here we go. Then he said, man, he, you know, he just started complimenting me and shit, and then, you know, we was talking and we were vibing and shit. He said, good man, I like that. You know what I'm saying? And then when he showed me his hand, he had the, the beads on and shit. I'm like, yeah, it's a trend. You know, we set a trend and don't even realize it because the scriptures say Jacob is the form of all things. So if you notice celebrities and people just in general are taken out of the notion of the prophets, man, even though they might not admit it and give us direct credit because they're doing it subconsciously. But nonetheless, they see it coming from somewhere like the whole thing with the beards. It started with the beards first. Then it started uh, with, with the necklaces and all that other good stuff. And sooner or later, it's going to follow with righteousness because once the two thirds are destroyed and they come back in the kingdom, they're going to be righteous again, man. You know? They're gonna be righteous, you know. So uh call all your how about you mean have a shot for that, man. You know, but anyway, I'm gonna just bring out this preset real quick. Because the the, the wicked, the most high already got that number, man. You know, it ain't really worth meditating on if the most high gonna hit this nigga with a thunderbolt. Now you can't meditate terror, it's not off. But if you sitting there pondering, man, I wonder how the Lord gonna jack my next door neighbor out. You missing out on a central time to grow in the spirit, man. Because you just know the most high gonna fuck him up, and you would know about it. Like this uh, this guy across the hall from me, man. I suspected last year he was on some foul play behind my back. And the Lord bent him up twice. The Lord judged him, man. First time he got into a car accident. Couldn't walk for like fucking two months. He was all jacked up. And then the second time Esau bent his arm over his head to the point he broke dude damn arm, man. And I'm like, man, third time the Lord is going to take him out. You know what I'm saying? Because I just put up prayers. I'm like, look, protect me from these, these vipers, these men. You know, if anybody have any type of foul play against me, may, you know, you uh, you 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 bring judgment. And the Lord brought judgment on that nigga, man. Because I suspected him during a time when uh, COVID kicked off. I suspected him trying to break in my house one day because uh, I went to the crib and he made a funny, funny comment. And I don't think he even realized it. And I'm like, and I, I, I kind of warned him. I said, anybody that think they're going to come in this house, man, they're going to get their ass ran up out of here. You know what I'm saying? I think he got the message. And after that, the most I just put hell on this guy, man. So, you know, who knows? The Lord works in mysterious ways. Oh, but uh, anyway. Moving on. Uh, let me find that precept again. Let me 
fire. Give me one second. I'm on the road. I mean, on the road, actually, man. I actually had the precept. Yep, here we go. Uh, second address 9 and 13. It says, And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly should be punished. Because we know what's going to happen to them. We know eventually somebody going to get the missile. Somebody got to get martial law. Somebody got to get the, the beast. You know, somebody's got to get... It's going to be a lot of plethora of judgments. It's too many that we could name. So don't be concerned with that, man. Just know the most high going to take them out, man. All right? But be concerned about how the righteous is going to get on them chariots. Meaning, what can you do to solidify your walk in this faith? You know? What can you do to enhance your ways of making salvation, man? Instead of pondering on these wicked jakes. Because jake, man, they, they already chose their... They already chose the, the blue pill. You know? The blue pill has totally got jake... In a, in a bottom of a barrel spirit all right it says and says here and therefore be not curious how the ungodly should be punished and when it says but inquire how the righteous should be saved who's the world is and from whom the world is created so the world is created for us man let's focus on how we're going to get deliverance out of this place man the hell with the two-thirds we know they're going to be destroyed you know so i'm like man i want to know if your gonna get the missiles ain't nobody thinking about that shit. we just know he's probably gonna get the missiles but we ain't sitting back in our daily lives pondering on if your gonna get the missiles or he's gonna you know get put on a slim fast diet by starving to death man it's either one or two and that's the end of it you know but anyway brothers man i want to end it there giving all praises and glory honor that's duty how about you man i was shy shalom ball.